Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 of the Turks. So, we're still alive, but I don't think the French city next to us can say the same. It looks like it's going to fall on the next turn. Napoleon might just get wiped out. And I can't do much about that. His capital is already getting attacked. Yep, he lost the city. So now we have a White Walker city within five tiles of our capital. That's not so great. That's bad news. I'm glad I have the citadel. That's going to help. But yeah. We're going to need a bigger army. Anyway, let's kill the horsemen first. I don't think we can kill the spear bearer. Actually, maybe we can. I would have to move, which should be fine. Because these guys can't get to the citadel. There's a hill blocking the way. Alright, we'll kill that guy. That's more culture. And you? We'll need an escort for the settler in a few turns. And there is a White Walker camp to the southeast. So I feel like I need this composite moment around here. In case we get some visitors from the southeast. Alright. So let's chop that forest. That will speed up the settler. We'll get him on the next turn. I might move the worker out of the way just to get the settler to his final destination a little bit faster. If I don't, I'll have to waste some turns to go around the worker. Anyway, back to white walkers. We need to heal the spearman. He will take some damage, there's no way around that. Let's see. Are we close to another general? Yes, we are. We are very close to another general. That's going to help, we need that bonus. Okay, you're going to stay on the citadel. We can get a replacement in a turn or two. And you will just chill around here. We can get a farm or we can chop another forest. I'm not quite sure just how safe this tile is going to be. Okay, it seems safe for now. What do we need next? We need more units, clearly. So, spearmen, I suppose. I would like to get a water meal, but I'm not sure if we have the time for that. We can try, but I don't know. We need more units. We'll see how it goes. The White Walkers will focus on us soon enough. They might still attack Paris and Lyon, but... Once they conquer Napoleon, they will focus on us. That's pretty obvious. So, next. Now we can move that worker out of the way. Come on. Religion founded, okay. Yeah, I don't think we'll be making contact with the other civilizations anytime soon. And we got a catapult incoming. You need to move out of the way. We need to go handle that catapult. And a horseman right here. Let's see. Kill him like that. Attack the composite bowman. This will be much better once we get logistics on at least some units. At least one or two units with logistics will be huge help. I think we got barrage free. Yeah, we got barrage free on this guy. He's pretty close. He needs 21 more experience to get logistics. Yep, and our worker got captured. Okay, I think we'll have to give up that worker. Which is fine. Sort of. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can kill that Handax on this turn. We can try. Actually, I suppose we can kill him. But I can't recapture the worker. Even if I kill him. Okay, we had three workers. Anyway. So, back up and you can chill on the citadel. Next. I hope this is going to be enough units to protect ourselves, because I really want that water meal. We need food in our capital. That's the main problem with this starting location. There's not a lot of food. And Napoleon is about to get eliminated. He's down to one city. How's Rome doing? Rome is down to two cities. And Rome is also about to get eliminated. Yep. This is going to get interesting pretty soon. Cover one. It's going to be us versus the White Walkers, which is the title of this series. Okay, well... 
Catapult? No, we can't target it. This is a lot of dudes. I don't know about this. I'm giving up that worker. I can't get him, unfortunately. So... Attack the catapult. And maybe this guy. Like so. Continue the mine and go get the city. I think I have to go back with the composite bomb and I don't want to send a settler without an escort. I'm considering just starting a city here because it will be much easier to defend here. Yeah, we're going to start a city right here where the settler is. Fortify. Someone actually built a wonder. <laughs> nice job. You built a wonder for the White Walkers. Go you. Whoever that was. I don't think that was anyone we know about. Nope. Oh yeah, right. Napoleon does have the Temple of Artemis, but that's not going to help him. He's about to lose his capital. He's about to get eliminated from the game on the next turn. So, kill that catapult and kill the other catapult and heal the spearman preferably. We got a general. Nice. So I could save him for the combat bonus or I could start yet another citadel. That feels like a bit of an overkill. Also, we could start a city on this tile instead. That might be a slightly better idea. We won't really lose any tiles. Because all of these will overlap with our capital anyway. Okay, let's start a city right there. I'll be keeping the general for now. But I might consider another citadel once we get more melee units. Kalendar and France lost their capital city. <laughs> Bye, Napoleon. It's been nice knowing you. Research. What do we need? I would like to get Aaron working, but we'll have to build the National College at some point. Not much point researching horseback riding right now. Let's get philosophy. 26 turns to get Aaron working. Not much point researching sailing for the trade route. Although, yeah, we do need sailing. What am I talking about? We need sailing for the pearls. We'll do that then. And back to White Walkers. This guy needs to die. And we got some catapults incoming. Would be nice to kill the catapults. I could. Like this, perhaps. This seems safe enough. Rip. And this guy. I can melee him if I want to. Yeah, okay, let's do it like that. Bye. Going well so far. Start the city. And... Monument, library. Actually, hold on. Do we want to build that monument? I suppose we will get legalism, but we can build the monument faster. Grow the city first. At least we should be able to build it faster. While still growing the city. Yeah, this is getting really dangerous. He pillaged our first. Which is okay, we have one more source. Right, that hand axe needs to die. We can move into the city. Pick up barrage free. And then attack this guy. Take advantage of oligarchy. Or we can kill him with the composite bowman. And attack the lone sword. Now imagine this without the honor opener. For 33% combat bonus. That bonus is pretty much mandatory with this setup. With tilted axes, I mean. You're completely screwed without that. You really are. So, let's go get some improvements, or build a road. It would be nice to connect our cities, yeah. I might have to buy the deer as well. Probably. I want to speed up that monument. Yeah, let's get the monument faster. Carry on with the farm. We are holding so far, but I don't like having a white walker city. Five tiles away from my capital. It looks like we'll be fighting pretty much constantly here. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen. 
We will be fighting constantly. What now? This guy first. We can't target him from inside our capital, unfortunately. But we can still kill him. I don't know about this. This is not so good. I could kill one of these units, but then the Spearman will be very low on health. Not sure if I like that. Okay, let's kill him. That might have been a mistake. It's hard to tell. Alright, we'll find out. We do have a bonus against mounted units on a Spearman, obviously. But he's down to that. Okay, he's fine. Cover 2. Kill instantly is kind of tempting, but that's such a waste of a promotion. We can protect him. So... Or Medic. Actually, I think Medic will be slightly more useful. But Cover 2 is so tempting. Let's get Cover 2. Alright. Now... Move the general out of the city to give the bonus to every single unit. And we got logistics, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Now, do I want to back up to avoid this guy? I might want to do that, yeah. Just to be safe. He can attack our composite woman on the next turn. So let's back up. And you, you need to back up to stay safe. So like this. The horseman could still attack the spearman in theory. Yeah, he could. I could attack the horseman myself. We can almost kill it. It's down to 6 health. Yeah, I don't think he's going to attack the spearman. And even if he does, he won't be able to kill him. We are fine. For now. The water mill is almost done. We need more units, we seriously do, so Spearman... We also need to work on our science. <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't be getting a lot of shade rows in this game. Internal shade rows. That's about it. Yeah. I wonder if I could start a city on this island or something. There's a city-state there. This might be one of the safest city locations in this game, I don't know. I might check it out later. Anyway, kill this guy. We need to heal the composite bomben a bit. Yeah, that's a lot of horsemen. Yeah, okay, back up into the city and back up again. We could kill that guy, but our composite bomben will take a lot of damage. If we stay where we are. I don't know. I don't like leaving that horseman alive. But I also don't want to get attacked by four different horsemen on a unit that only has seven melee combat strength. We have to back up. I don't think we have a choice. I'm starting to consider a citadel around here to the north. We might need one, I don't know. We'll see. Where are all these units coming from though? They have to be coming from the east. There's no camp here. They have to be coming from the east. Yeah, I'm glad I backed up. We would have lost the composite bomb and otherwise. That's pretty obvious. Can we actually kill all of these dudes? I have to move the spearmen. Yeah, I don't know about this. I have to move this guy, then move the spearmen to keep him safe, and then move the composite bomb into the city. Which isn't ideal, but... I don't have a big choice, and I have to move the worker, otherwise we're going to lose him. So, let's go for guaranteed kills, I think. Meaning just one. No, two. That guy, and this guy. Okay, good. The creation of friendship has expired. <laughs> Ram is still in the game, but not for much longer. Now, imagine without all these mountains. If our city was exposed from every single direction, we would have been dead now, probably. Or close to it. Or at least it would have been much harder to defend. 
even with citadels. So you guys really need to heal. Let's see, can we kill them both? Yes, we can, maybe. We can. If I shoot one more time, I suppose we can do that. Heal up. What about that citadel then? I'm still considering it. I don't feel like we need one because of these mountains. Let's keep the combat bonus for now. And we'll probably have to get an internal trader out sometime soon. Because we certainly won't be getting international trade routes. That's obvious. Kill that guy. And kill this guy. Heal up or actually use the heal. Yeah. He won't be healing on this turn anyway. So we can move into a better position. The farm is done. Now we need to repair some stuff. Keep healing. Is the other guy close to logistics? Yes, he is. No, not that guy. Yeah, this guy. He's pretty close. He needs 11 more experience for logistics and this dude needs 18 more experience. Once we get free ranged units with logistics, this will be significantly easier. And I could just get citadels around my capital everywhere. And I don't think the White Walkers will be able to go through that. But their units will also improve. Right, legalism. I could go for Discipline. It's not a terrible idea. It only works for melee units, obviously. I think I prefer Legalism. But that's a bit of a waste. Or we could go for Aristocracy right now and get Legalism later. Okay, let's go for that. The Spearman is almost done. We could actually build some Wonders. Here's the nice thing about this game. We won't have a lot of competition for wonders. <laughs> because the AIs will get wiped out. <laughs> There's no one to build wonders. Right, so kill that guy and attack one more time. If we manage to stabilize, this will get easier. But 80% of the map will basically be covered with White Walker camps and cities. It's going to be an interesting game for sure. Cover 2. I should almost call this how long can you survive challenge because that's basically what it is. How long you can survive with this kind of setup. It's definitely a challenge. Yeah, logistics is already making a huge difference. We'll take this city once we get plus one range. Which shouldn't take too long at our current rate. Cover 2 and fortify. And we got a third Spearman. Now. Caravan to get an internal shade route. Sounds good. And go for Philosophy. Seven more turns. And then we need a library. It's already queued up. Repair that. Alright, go. I might consider a Citadel around here. To the east of Edirne. With three more citadels, we could basically have a citadel from every single direction. We could get a citadel around here, around here, and then here, and then we would be fairly safe-ish, sort of. But probably not. <laughs> You're never really safe with this setup. Right, so move out a little bit. Is Jerusalem still a city-state? No, it's not been a city-state for a while, I suppose. Kill that composite bomb, and I think. Yeah, I think so. I could block the way. For that long sword. Yep, and kill the composite bomb. And sounds good. So block the way like so. New decisions available. No, we don't want that. I would be trading culture for gold, basically. Cape Town is under attack. You think so? Judging by the minimap, everything is under attack. Literally. Rome is still alive, but he's also the last civilization that we know of. Can we do anything? Some trades? Not really, no. We could sell some iron. Sure, here. Have some iron. 
It's not going to help you, but you can have it anyway. And we'll take your gold. We can put it to better use than you can. Right, fortify. And you're back to full health. More units incoming. We need that logistics on more dudes. Let's see. Move one tile east and attack the Lone Sword. He will attack us, but that's fine. As long as the unit stays alive. Come on, buddy. Are we there yet? Yep, he attacked us, but that was to be expected. That will give us a promotion faster. Alright, now we have to back up. Let's see, best way to do it? Good question. If I go here, the horseman will be able to attack the composite bowman, and I don't like that. On the other hand, if I go here, I will be safe, but I won't be able to attack. I can attack once and then move, that's probably the best choice. Yep. And kill the lone sword. Then... I can kill the horseman. And probably the lone sword as well. Seriously though, this is so many units. Kill that guy. Going well. Okay. Only two units in range. Fewer than usual. Free now. Yeah, this was a little bit close. We're really cutting it close here. But it's fine. We can kill the horseman. Oh, really? One health? Well, no problem. We can kill him. Rip. I don't think we can kill this guy, but he can't do a whole lot either. Fortify, fortify. Alright, recover. Do we want that citadel or not? I think I'll pass for now. An encampment has evolved. We'll be seeing a lot of these messages. Unfortunately. Can we somehow fix the bug? Where the cities aren't showing up properly? What if we switch between strategic view and regular? No. They still show up on strategic view, so at least there's that. I suppose I can always do that. Well, I know they are there, so that's what matters. More targets. It's already getting a little bit easier. So kill that guy, we can heal later. And kill this guy. Oh yeah, that composite moment doesn't have logistics yet? No, he does. And Spearman, right, this dude didn't have any promotions, which is okay. He'll get them soon enough. And another one bites the dust. This is going better already. But let's not get overconfident just yet. The pasture is done. Next. Now, we'll need more units in a dirn because we don't have a single one just yet. And the White Walkers from this camp will attack us eventually. In fact, I'm almost surprised that they didn't attack us yet. I totally expected that. What can we do with these style assignments? Let's see. Need one more turn to repair that improvement. We also have to repair the camp. Both camps, in fact. Just work the iron. And the mine. That seems reasonable. Alright, next. Let's check demographics. I'm quite curious how we're doing compared to the AI. Oh yeah, right. But we'll get our worker back just fine. We are number 5 in population. <laughs> okay, someone has over 2 million. That's actually kind of impressive. I wonder who that is. We need to make contact with some other civilizations sooner or later. How's Rome doing in techs? Not very good. Kill that horseman. Best way to do it? Like so? Is that enough for logistics? Yes, it is. Nice. We need our worker back. Just attack like this. Oh, I could actually return the civilian to Kuala Lumpur? No, why would I want to do that? Well, Kuala Lumpur didn't get conquered by White Walkers yet, which is impressive. Would be nice to get allied with them. But that will have to wait. We are actually losing gold right now. 
Clearly, we can't get any trades. Is Kuala Lumpur coastal? Let's check potential trade routes. Come on, need to wait for our turn. Yes, it is actually a coastal city, so we could get a trade route. We might have to protect it. But it's a possibility. Logistics, perfect. About time, and kill him. This will be significantly easier now, with logistics. Attack that guy, yep. Keep repairing. And I think I'm going to make a cut here, continue in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time.